Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another lesson. Uh, this is lesson two uh, in our trigonometry unit. Uh, it is all about the angles of elevation and depression. So we are learning a few new terms, uh, but we're not really doing anything new in terms of the math. We're still using SOHCAHTOA, sine, cos, and tan with the opposite sides, adjacent sides, and hypotenuse. Um, we are just going to learn a new way to talk about it uh, so that we can use, um, we can do more word problems. So we're going to talk about the angles of elevation and depression. So when you're looking straight ahead, um, and you see it, you see something and maybe it's really tall. So you go and you look up, maybe it's like a building and it's a golden boy, it's the legislature and the golden boy is on top of the legislature. So you look up to that object above you. Um, as your line of sight creates an angle with the ground. Um, the ground is horizontal. Uh, all of these angles that we talk about, elevation and depression, are always in reference to the horizontal line. Uh, so when you lift your angle of your line of sight up, you make an angle with the ground, and that is called the angle of elevation. As you can see in the diagram below me, uh, the line of sight and the horizontal create an angle with the two lines, and that is the angle of elevation. Uh, something very similar happens when you look down, if you're standing on a cliff and you see a boat in the lake. Uh, the angle of depression is determined from the horizontal again. So your line of sight and the horizontal make uh, an angle, and that is the angle of depression. Uh, if you and your friend, one standing on a cliff and one of you is standing below and you're looking at each other, the angles that are measured from the horizontal, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression, are actually the same. So we are going to use that to create um, triangles where we have enough information to actually work with it. Um, so these are called interior alternate angles, uh, and they are formed when you have parallel lines. So the horizontals are going to be parallel for sure because they're horizontal. And then the line of sight that you and your friend are making by staring directly into each other's eyes um, causes a line that, that, that crosses those two parallel lines. So again, it's very important. Angles of elevation and depression are always measured from a horizontal line, uh, not from the vertical line. That is a very common error. So let's get into some problems and start using um, these terms. So from a point on the ground, 15 meters from the base of the Richardson Building. So the Richardson Building is in Winnipeg. Uh, it is on the corner of Portage and Maine. So if we've got the Richardson Building here, super tall, and we are standing at a point 15 meters. So let's call this point P, and we are 15 meters from the base of the building. Uh, and when we look up to the top of it with our line of sight, the angle of elevation uh, to the top of the building is 80 degrees. So that is 80 degrees. And the question is, what is the height of the Richardson building? So X. Now both of these sides, both sides of the building should be the same height. If it's a flat building on top, I hope it is. So um, we can find out what x is or this side. Now let's label our sides according to uh, the angle of interest. So we have our right angle down here. The building makes a right angle with the ground. So this means that that is the hypotenuse. Um, this is the opposite away from the angle. Pardon me, that's the opposite. And this is the adjacent side. So we're interested in the opposite and adjacent sides. So if we think that it is Sokatan, it is Toa. Uh, so let's do that. Tan of 80 is equal to opposite, which is X, over adjacent, which is 15 meters. We can rearrange this to solve for X by moving the 15 up. So we have 15 multiplied by tan of 80 is equal to X. So x is equal to 85 meters. So when we're doing word problems, we are always going to answer those in a sentence. So the Richardson building 
is 85 meters tall. Exclamation point because it's exciting. Okay. Um, let's move on to example two. Example two is about a lighthouse. Very exciting. So, from the top of a 25 meter lighthouse, the angle of depression of a boat is nine degrees. How far is the boat from the lighthouse? Okay, so let's draw our lighthouse. This is gonna be very complex, it's hard to draw. Um, okay, there's our lighthouse, it took me a while. Uh, it is 25 meters tall. So if you didn't, I don't really care if you can actually draw what it's asking you to draw, as long as we can get the parts of the triangle that we actually need to. So this is the lighthouse, it's 25 meters tall, and it says from the top, the angle of depression to a boat. So it is looking down towards a boat. That point is the boat. And it says the angle of depression is nine degrees. So I can imagine that there is a dotted line here. It's not an angle line of sight or anything. It's just an imaginary line. But I need to determine whether I'm going to place the angle of elevation or the angle of, uh, in the angle of depression in which one of these. Now, it is always measured from the horizontal. So this is a vertical line. So we can't put it in between here. That is a no-go. This is the horizontal line, which means that this is nine degrees, this angle right here. Now, you're probably looking at this and going, well, we don't have everything we need in the triangle. Well, because the boat would make the same angle of elevation uh, with the lighthouse as the lighthouse does depression with the boat, we know that this angle is also nine degrees. And now it looks like we've got something that we can actually work with, especially when we want to determine how far the boat is from the lighthouse side x. So let's label our sides according to hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. Across from the right angle that the lighthouse should be making with the ground is the hypotenuse. Adjacent to our angle is a and opposite of our angle is the opposite side. So the two sides that we're interested in again seems to be opposite and adjacent which would be tan so tan of nine is equal to opposite of 25 over x, which is the adjacent side, the distance between the boat and the lighthouse. Now, remember when we have a um, denominator as the unknown, we are going to just switch these two. Uh, it's going to bring the x up to the top. It's going to bring the tan nine degrees to the bottom and we're going to then be able to solve for x. So let's do that here. So that we're gonna move this way. So tan, pardon me, x then is equal to 25 divided by tan of nine, which we can put into our calculator to find out that uh, x is equal to 158 meters. So the boat, is 158 meters from the lighthouse. So it's useful that the angle of elevation and depression are um, both uh, the same. So we can, if we know one, we also know the other. I think we have one more problem. Oh, it's a try it on your own. Okay, so um, pause the video here um, and try this one on your own. It should be very similar to the other two. And then when you're done, unpause it and we can do it together and you can see if you did it right. Okay, welcome back. I assume you gave it a try. Um, let's do it together now. So an observer is sitting on a dock watching a float plane that should be a float plane, not a float plan, a float plane, in Vancouver Harbor at a certain time. The plane is 300 meters above the water. Okay, so I know something here. Let's write that down. Let's draw this thing. We have 
a plane that is 300 meters above the water. Um, plane is one thing that I can draw, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. We've got a plane and it's 300 meters above the water. Okay. Uh, let's see. The observer then is going to be over here. I'm really good at drawing people as well. Uh, and 430 meters from the observer, so that would be as a line of sight, directly, not along the ground. Um, right here, this side is 430 meters. The distance from the plane to the person is 430 meters. We are then going to want to find out what the angle of elevation is. So the angle of elevation is that angle. It is the angle that the sight line makes with the angle uh, with the horizontal. So now we can label our sides and determine what we need to use, uh, what ratio we need to use to actually solve this. So we can label this as hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. Um, label this one as opposite. It's opposite of our angle of interest, which would make this one adjacent. Not that it really matters. We are then going to use the ratio that has opposite and hypotenuse. So that would be sine. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite, which is 300 divided by uh, the hypotenuse, which is 430. This is all in meters. Now remember, when we are trying to find the angle, we need to do the sine inverse of our um, fraction. So we are going to then take the theta equals sine inverse of 300 over 430. So then I will show you again how I do that in my calculator. Take 300 divided by 430, hit equals, and then inverse sine, so the second function button, and hit sine to get 44.2 degrees. So theta is equal to 44.2 degrees, and then that is the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation is 44.2 degrees. Done. If you have questions, definitely let me know. Um, but other than that, I do believe that we are done. Yes, I'll see you next time. Um, for lesson three. Bye everyone.